Hello Leo, welcome to the channel. This is Kelsey from Empress of Energy, ready to jump into a current energy check for you guys. So I'm doing a little Leo reading because there was quite a strong energy of that in the in the Taurus reading today. So cross watchers have at it and any Leos new to the channel, hi guys. I will be getting around to doing more of our sign readings so please do by all means subscribe. Um, but let's see what's going on. Current energy. Time is fluid in tarot, guys, so take it as it resonates. Past is a minute ago and prior. Future is in a minute and beyond. The energy I'm reading is quite fluid in between that, as you can imagine, with it being current energy. So take it as it resonates. Let's see what's going on. Let's get messages for Leo. So place a sign in your birth chart anywhere you like. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. You could find messages in here for you. You're going through the same shit, different day kind of cycle. Or you have been doing, Leo. Um... I know it's a bit dark in here, but bear with me. Hmm. There's someone I'm gonna say there's someone that you either work with or someone that you consider as a good friend. That's not so much. Uh, show me messages for Leo, please. Someone's been a bit sly, a bit, um, bit shader. Messages for Leo, please. Some reminds of Venus. Thank you. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe. If you're returning, hey yo. Shy illness, okay. We've got card number 31. Um, so some of you need a rest, need to heal, need a day in bed. It's something that will pass quickly enough, but it's important enough to be coming up in your energy. So we need to rest. Let me just. Sorry about the setting, guys. I'm in the middle of a move. I but just felt the need to do a reading for Leo. So let's see what's going on. Shall I more? Messages for Leo, please. Somebody rise and read as Leo need to see. Mm -mm. Okay. So, love is on the mind. Like, literally, you're dreaming about someone, something, being happy, being in love. For some of you, the thought of it's draining you. Like, trying to be happy, maybe, is draining you. Show me more. Mr. Filio, please. Unexpected money. Something unexpected. Something good unexpected has come across, come around. And it's draining the life out of you. Hmm. Some of you really want to reach out to someone, but you know that you shouldn't. So you're kind of waiting for, are you waiting for them to reach out to you? That's, that's a bit silly. <laughs> um, I don't mean like that, but it's like you, you either like, it's like even knowing that you shouldn't reach out to them or you kind of like doing it on purpose to waiting for them to reach out to you. So, or someone is, but they're all just see fit. Let's get Tara. Let's get Tara. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, for some of you, honestly, there's something about a friend or someone that you work with that's been a bit sly on your... Mm. Should I message for Leo, please? You could be dealing with an Aries. Oh, the tennis swords waiting to fly out then. S something's ending. Ace of Swords, okay, so truth is about, truth is about to be spoken, there's some truth coming to light, or it already has done. Let's get messages for Leo, please, what does Leo need to say? Someone's thinking a lot. Someone's thinking a lot about the happiness, where that is, who that's with, what that's doing. 
in many different ways. Mm. Show Mistress for Leo, please. That's just for Leo. What does Leo need to see today? So we rise in Venus. The Six of Cups, the Ten of Cups, okay. So there's something here that goes way back. Oh, there's a past life connection, one of the two. We'll find out when we clarify. Thank you. Show my sister Leo. Could be a relationship here that goes back to childhood. Could be something to do with a sibling. Okay, there's definitely a soulmate energy. The Truth, Temperance, Two of Cups, could be dealing with Sagittarius. Okay, so there's a very, very, very strong connection here. Very strong. That six of cups energy. It's either past life or dealt with someone since childhood. So it's like felt like forever. But this truth that needs to come. But this patience that's needed or healing that's needed. Let's get one more. Justice. Double deal with Libra. So. I mean, this looks great, to be honest. It's like you're getting something that you deserve and it's who you deserve. And it's something honest and true. Was that to Ace of Swords? It's something that you can be happy for, you know, happy ever after is what I'm getting. Hmm. Could be done with another fire sign or a Scorpio, but there's like, the need to reconcile something or to fix something here. You, Leo, are very strongly being told to choose your happiness, choose what makes you happy. Um, you need to go towards what makes you happy. We're going to clarify using the same deck, but it is what it is. Um, let's clarify for Leo. Let's see what's going on. Some of you need to leave something um, in the past. Some of you already are doing, walking away from something. Um, the magician. Hmm. Some of you are walking towards your manifestations. There's something that's happened here that you've manifested. Um, this could very well be a relationship of some sort or a connection, most definitely. It doesn't have to be romantic, but there's a lot of emotion involved here. There's a lot of cups. A lot of them. Page of Pentacles. Uh, dealing with the Gemini, an Aries, or a younger Earth sign. You've manifested something. It's here. Oh, you know it, but it's confusing you. So someone's in a state of confusion about how they feel, what they should feel, if they should feel a certain way. Right, there you are. It's, I'm not gonna lie, it's very divine masculine orientated, but flip the rose as you see fit, we've all got that energy within us. There's a lot of like, should I, I shouldn't feel like that, but I do. And should I feel like that? But I do. And I'm sorry I shouldn't feel this way, but I do. And it's, why do I feel this way? It's, Hmm. Let's see. Show me the six of cups, please, Leo. King of Pentacles. I'm dealing with another Earth sign. Uh, sorry, an Earth sign. So I spoke or a Capricorn. The Ten of Pentacles. Right. Someone's trying to be. Someone's trying to re remain stable. Um, one more. Five of Swords. Right, there's something about pleasing. I'm going to say there's a pleasing energy. Um, someone's like sacrificing. I'll say sacrificing the Ten of Pentacles or Ten of Cups for something else. Or they're trying to.
someone's really trying to leave something potentially great behind. Um, show me this Ten of Cups, please. Strength, you. That's your energy. The King of Swords, trying to remain sensible, logical. There's a lot of divine masculine energy here. I mean, let's show me one more. The Seven of Cups. Someone's trying to ignore their emotions. Someone's trying to ignore how they feel. Remain sensible, logical, rational. Like, King of Swords, like. And this is you, Leo. Or it's the person you're dealing with, take as it resonates, but it's like trying to, it's they're just trying to ignore the feelings. Mm. Oh. Okay, again, divine masculine energy. But someone's potential third party situation, three of cups and the lovers, could be done with the Gemini. And the Ten of Swords and the Ace of Cups. It's... Someone's found something new. And they're really trying to hold back on that. Very much so. Show me this Ace of Swords, please. Page of Wands. Queen of Swords. Someone sees... There's a divine... There's a very bitter... Divine masculine energy here that sees possibly you. There could be an age difference involved early, or if not, someone sees you. Maybe, but again, flip the roll to see if it. Someone sees you as a little fucker. Turn the back on your kind of thing. One more. The sun, yeah, you. <laughs> this is your energy. Someone is speaking to you very harshly. But this is to do with the truth. So someone has found something out and it's put you in some kind of light and it's like, you've had to walk away from something good that you've manifested. Or you're trying to. This is a third party situation for some of y'all. There's a secret. It's still something that you very much want though. Hmm. I hope this is making sense, let me know. Show me this temperance energy, please. Queen of Wands. Okay. So. Someone's trying to protect something. Strong Sagittarius energy. Yeah, three of swords. So someone's trying to protect a third party situation. The other party involved with that Queen of Wands energy. Whether this be you or somebody else, whoever this was that was involved, there's a lot of defend, defending, guarding, protecting, um, keeping them out of the shit, maybe. A lot of patience here. It's also maybe defending what's happened because this is a strong third party situation. Someone, I feel like you're being told to look at a situation differently. The lies, which is, there's been like some kind of deceit, but it's brought on a new beginning. And you don't really know what to do with that. But you're being told, you're being told to look at a situation from a bigger perspective, a different perspective. You know, there's like self-imposed, being like self, keeping yourself stuck. In a situation, you couldn't tie yourself at any point. There's been an epiphany moment, there's been a light bulb moment, but it's not been very honest, or there's been lies, but it's to enable a new beginning. Show me this two of cups, please. Five of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and the Knight of Pentacles. Oof. There's a lot of arguments going on here. Um, so, 
this argument going on around who you're talking to, who you're expressing your emotions to, who you may want to express your emotions to. Um, could be an earth sign or a water sign. Or someone's trying to find out some shit. Someone's trying to work some stuff out. The Page of Swords, the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. There's blessings there. You know, the Aces, the Yes cards, the blessings. And it's like it's being ignored because someone's trying to find it all out. Someone's spying. So it's all being ignored. Show me this justice. King of Cups, look, so much divine masculine energy. Um, the Three of Cups, Ooh, one more. The Devil. Okay, so someone's gonna go for what? Someone's gonna go for what they want. Someone's gonna go towards what they want because they can't not. It's like there's such a very there's a, there's a massive magnetic. Like someone's company, someone's vibe how someone makes someone feel emotionally is just too is that alluring, alluring, alluring is the word like it's, they, they can't stay away. Someone's, I feel like maybe you or someone is trying to ignore a situation or somebody, but they, they, they're not gonna be able to for long. A lot of you, this is you, Leo, you're trying to ignore a connection with someone that you very much, you, you feel so mad, you feel so magnetised towards this person. Um, but you're trying to put on a brave face or a pretense and ignore it. It could be a younger earth sign. You try to ignore it, but something's going to happen. Because you've manifested this. So it's like something's gone on. It's like you've manifested something big time, especially Divine Masculine. So cross watchers and, you know, flip all the roles as you see fit. It's some something's been man, uh, manifested by the divine masculine, and it's like now they've got what they've actually always wanted. So it's like, what are you gonna do with it? What are you gonna do with it now you've got it? Because someone's not about to let something go. Yeah, but it's also not easy at all. Interesting. This is what I have. Let me know if it's made sense. Like, share, comment, subscribe if you have not yet. Um, hopefully I'll see you soon, Leo. <laughs> but I just felt the need to do a Leo reading. I just felt the need to do that. So, right. Love yous. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Mwah.